What up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Foodie Chang, and today is gonna be another episode of Sichuan Dishes in Chengdu. It's gonna be Leng Guo Chuan Chuan, and I know that you wonder what it is. It's gonna be a very specialty in Chengdu. It's behind me. It's very hot, spicy. A lot of people like it, and it's not the time they open. But look at the people right there. Leng Guo Chuan Chuan is actually started very long time ago in Chengdu. A lot of people like it when the weather is getting hot, and it's the first chain store opened in New York, if I didn't remember wrong. And this one has a really long history in a very good neighborhood, very quiet street, and people love it a lot. Then we're gonna take you to there and see what is it and how it tastes like. Let's go. We're gonna take this ticket and to bring our dishes in. Let's go. So right now we are picking up our dishes. It's basically what you want, whatever you want, and they bring in this basket, and they're gonna cook it for you. Look at the all kinds of good. They got all kinds of dishes right here. The goat nai lai. Cheers. You know what? Mao jiao huo la is actually a Chengdu name. It means that something or someone is annoying you and you just feel like so angry, feel like annoyed and you just like irritable. So that Mao Jiao Huo La. Also it can be you ate something really hot and you'd be like, oh my god, this is so hot. For example, like this is Chengdu Nis. Also you'd be like, it's the same thing. Then it became a brand of Leng Guo Chuan Chuan, which is where we're at today. Ta -da. This is the uh, the spirit of Leng Guo Chuan Chuan. It's the chili powder plate, which is the dry chili powder. It has all kind of ingredients. It has peanut. If you're allergic to peanut, you can tell them you don't want peanuts in it. It's so aromatic. Hola, spicy, but it's so good. Leng Guo Chuan Chuan is actually all kinds of dishes that they cook for you and then they put in a pot so you don't have to cook it. It's different from Chuan Chuan Xiang or hot hot. And also, it's not really hot. It's coming! These are mine. Mm. It's dripping. I'm starving. The one thing about Leng Guo Chuan Chuan is you don't have to cook it, so it's really convenient. And that's the main point of why it becomes famous. It doesn't mean the pot is cold, it's just they cook it and they bring it to your table. With the skewer, it's really with more fun. And then the way you eat it, it's dip the, your chili powder plate. There is a barrel, it looks like this. Next to the table, it's the one you put the skewer in it, and that's the way you eat it. It's so satisfying when scraping them off. The skewer, it depends on what kind of dish. Some dish you have grabbed them really hard, but some like really easy to peel them off. This is Zhang Zhong Bao. The name is part of culture, which is from one of the joints of the claw. The bone, it's actually not a bone, it's really crunchy. You dip the chili powder. The feeling when I chew it, the spicy, the taste from the peanut, it's just give you more thoughts. Yashin, the heart of God. People will be like, ew, it's tasty. Believe me, it's tasty. 
they marinate it with the brine already. So it's kind of like uh, it's already half the taste originally, and then you dip the chili powder, and then it's becoming another taste. It's not that spicy actually. The party just get started. Can't miss it, honey. I don't know what it is this cup, but it's so good. I remember it's made of tofu and then they used a special way to make it like this. And because it's, it has a lot of holes in it, so it's kind of sucked the juice, the chili oil in it. How about this? Never mind. Ta da! Next, let me introduce the best, the spirit of the Lenggo Chuan Chuan is the drink, iced soy milk. It's gonna be a perfect combination when you eat Lenggo Chuan Chuan. Da da da! Every single dish in here has different tastes and different texture. Every single one you dip the sauce, after that it's becoming another taste of every single one. You know why it does have the skewer with it? Because this is how they charge you. I'm so full. And now it's getting dessert. It's dessert time. It means if it's not spicy, I'm not gonna be happy. That's the Wukong. And this store, this split it in half, it's uh, kind of cross the whole street. This is A, this is B. A store and B store. Because it's getting so crowded when it's time to have dinner and lunch. So people have to you know, line up a lot. It's getting so crowded. So they opened up another one, but it's still so crowded. People still have to wait. This street is called Kui Xing Lou Jie, next to a very famous travel place. It's called Huan Dai Xiang, a wide and narrow alley. It's just next to the street. And also it's a very cultural street, I would say, because it's full of like Chengdu elements store and all the snacks, snacks, street food and all the desserts. You'll be feel like this is it's so peaceful to live here. I feel like people are looking at me because I'm speak English, but if I don't feel shy, then they will feel shy. Tang Yu Guo, the famous street food of Chengdu. It's pretty much the taste of my whole childhood. It's actually sweet and made of flour, the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy on the outside, but it's sticky inside. It's another famous street food in Chengdu. I have to try this. It's different than waffles. It's just like a very small pot and you put egg and flour in it and then it's kind of like a very special pancake and then you put all the flavors, ingredients in it like meat floss and also cream all kinds of stuff, whichever you like and then they fold it and then you eat it right away. This is Chengdu House special pancake. Dan Hong Gao. You can look at the look at the edge. It's so crispy. Nayo Rosong. Whipped cream and meat block. You have to eat it during it's hot because once it gets cold, it's not gonna be crispy anymore. Okay guys, it's getting dark and I have to go home. Welcome to Chengdu. This is all we have for today. Good food and snack. We'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.